This week on the Stampede, homecoming on the hilltop. A special visitor stops by the locker room. Let's go SMU! Let's go stay! And an all-access look at SMU Memphis. If they don't score again, they can't win, but we gotta play with a different level of intensity. On Thursday, October 18th, SMU hosts Houston on the hilltop. It's not an exaggeration to say that this game is a must win for the Mustangs. Three man SMU rush. Griffin throws right side. It's caught at the 10 5. Touchdown, Robert Kelly. SMU is 2 and 4, and coming off a stunning loss to Tulane in the Superdome. That's a hell of a first win for you. Great Thank job. Thanks, Great Coach. job. A season that started with great promise hangs in the balance. I think it's an important game for SMU if they want to go to another bowl game. Because if they don't win this ball game, you look at the rest of their schedule, it's not going to be easy to get to a bowl game. In the locker room, Aaron Davis challenges his teammates. Hey, listen up, guys. Hey, I've been thinking about what I want to say, and, uh, you know, we've came out and we've had a rough start. We're two and four. But today we got a chance to turn it around and make something happen. You know, we turn this thing around now. This is the turning point. You know, it's going to be something special. We want to go to the Hawaii Bowl December 24th. Zach said it last night. That's our goal. That's our dream. And you know, we got to come together as a team. And that that happens tonight. And the Mustangs respond. Let's go, Mustangs! Gilbert is looking left. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to loft this one. Caught in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, SMU. Gilbert flushed out to his right. He is on the run. He's going to throw it deep down the right side. Receivers there. Caught. Touchdown, Keenan Holman. Quarterback Garrett Gilbert completes 23 of 38 passes for 265 yards and four touchdowns. Gilbert, low snap, hands off. Zach line. He's hit the backfield. Now bounces out of it. Goes right side to the five. Touchdown, SMU. Zach line pounds the Cougar defense for 117 yards and a pair of scores. To the goal line. Touchdown, SMU! Second tonight for Zach. Highland from the shotgun. Four-man SMU rush. And Taylor Reed picks it! Touchdown, Mustangs! Coach Tom Mason's big play defense scores four touchdowns, three pick sixes, and a fumble return for a score. An intercepted Stephon Sanders to the 30. Cuts back left to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! School record, 72 points! When the clock strikes zero, it's SMU 72, Houston 42. The most points the Mustangs have ever scored. All right, guys, great job, great job. That's as, uh, about as big a team win as I've ever been around. Special teams, defense, everybody doing their job. That's a great job. The Mustangs play a solid game on both sides of the ball. The offense averages a gain of six yards per play, the best of the season. Offensively, we, we started to click a little bit, which is, uh, good. you know, obviously it feels good. That was a good team win. Uh, special teams, offense, defense, uh, everybody showed up today. And um, when you hang 72 points, a school record, that feels pretty good. The defense finishes with nine takeaways, six interceptions, and three fumble recoveries. That's a big one. It's a good one to bounce back off of. We just got to keep it rolling, and it was a good one to start with. So happy to beat Houston. Never beat them before, and it was big to the coaches. So good to get that win. Uh, we lost an opportunity to win last week, so we were definitely we definitely had a chip on our shoulder. So we uh, practiced hard, and everyone was focused, and we came out and played. It's a huge win for SMU, but it's just one one game. If the Mustangs are to reach their goal of a fourth straight bowl game, the team will need to put together a string of W's. One win at a time. You know, we have a, a goal we want to get to, and that's the conference championship and a bowl game. We can still do those things. It's just a matter of winning and staying together. Next up on the schedule are the Memphis Tigers. Coach Fuente's done a good job, I think, of instilling what he needs to get instilled both offensively and defensively, and that's why they're uh, you know, pretty solid football team. They've been in every game. They've lost uh, uh, a few uh, more than they've won, but at the same time, they've been in the games. They've got athletes. They've got good players. So you know, you're going to have to do everything right to, to make sure you win. 
obviously can't let the record fool us. You know, we, we understand that um, what happens when you overlook a, an opponent, and, and we understand that, that this team um, is capable and has the players to, um, to play well and beat anyone any week. They want to run the ball, and um, we like that. We welcome um, just being physical and, and hard-nosed game, and uh, we just got to be ready. Like Coach Hill said, you got to bring your lunch pail and, and your hat. You know, it's going to be, be a game that you have to really, you know, buck your chin strap in and get down and dirty in those trenches. It's homecoming, so all the alumni coming home, um, this is a big game for us, so we got to put on the show. You got, got to get this win, keep the um, momentum going, so get another win in comfort, keep um, trying to get ball eligible. Go SMU! Next up, homecoming weekend and the matchup with the Memphis Tigers. Memphis-style ribs. We eat the competition at SMU. come down and then there's people in the parades and then they throw candy and then we get it and eat it. This is homecoming weekend at SMU. A chance for students and alums, friends and families to gather to share memories and celebrate the university's centennial. It's really exciting to see everyone kind of come together as a community here at SMU and to just celebrate the school in general. It's fabulous. I've never seen so many people here. Plus all the parties that are going on on the boulevard. I'm going to have a good time today. Representing the land of the free and the home of the brave, here comes Pi Beta Phi's Kimbrell Hughes and Phi Gamma Delta's Eric Sanibal. The homecoming parade features student floats, bands, and bright red and blue centennial bicycles. I see lots of floats and lots of dancing people. We have looked at floats, we've listened to music. We're gonna see the Meadows Museum and have a picnic after this. It's exciting. Go SMU. SMU alum and founder of Tom's Shoes, Blake McCoskey, serves as Grand Marshal. I spent many days here in college, and it's good to be back. After a parade winds its way through campus, it's time for some world-class tailgating on the boulevard. Go ponies! Yeah, pony up! <laughs> pony up! Pony up! I'm so happy to be back after 30 years. <laughs> Go ponies! That's a fresh West Texas hog rib right there. Memphis-style ribs. We eat the competition at SMU. Inside the stadium, the Mustangs prep for the game with Memphis. A year ago, SMU pummeled Memphis by a score of 42 to nothing. And on paper, the Mustangs should win easily. Memphis is just one in six, including three losses to schools in the football championship subdivision. But if the Ponies are to even their record at four and four, they'll need to find some consistency in the passing game, turn red zone possessions into touchdowns, and win the turnover battle. President George W. Bush, whose presidential center will open on the east side of campus in the spring of 2013, stops by the locker room for a few handshakes and a surprise visit with the team. Hey, listen up, boys. Hey, we need the match intense that we brought here last week against Houston. We got to perform well in all three phases of the game. Let's have a, let's have a great game. Let's play together. Let's win this thing. And let's get to a bowl game. We got our gold man. Right now our goal is 1-0. This game is all that matters. We're taking one game at a time. Let's win today, boys. A few minutes before kickoff, head coach June Jones gathers the players for some final words. Paying attention to details of your assignment and alignments are going to be the difference in this game. Play with energy, just like we did every game so far, but last week we turned it up. So let's turn it up again. Every game, our back is to the wall right now. <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, sir. King David. Nice to meet y'all, boys, man. Great game. Great game, man. Great game, Reed. Good game, man. And Dale. Memphis, you're the visiting team. You'll call the toss. Head. Call his heads. It is heads. You've won the toss. You'd like to defer. You'd like to defer. Which way would you like to get? I'd like to get you once more. Swap sides, please. Memphis has won the toss and has deferred their option for the second half. SMU will receive to start the game. Good luck, Kevin. When we come back, first half highlights as the stampede rolls on. Runs right to the 40, 45, 50 into open field at the 40, coming left into the 35. SMU is a solid favorite to defeat Memphis, so the Mustangs are looking to start fast and put the Tigers away early. Play action, he's gonna throw the receiver screen to Gilbert, up the right side, Keenan Holman blocking for him. He's able to slip by, I'm sorry, it's Jeremy Johnson who takes the screen, not Darius, and he's across midfield to the 45. Line motions out of the backfield, he'll take a screen pass at the 40, right side, 35, 30, slips a tackle to the 25, steps down the far sideline, actually steps out of bounds before he's tackled. Midway through the first quarter, a nine-play, 66-yard drive leads to a 39-yard chase over a field goal. Defense! Defense! SMU's defense forces a quick three and out. Play action, he's looking left, and he's going to be hit, and he gets away from Kevin Gardeer, but he's not going to make it away from Taylor Reed, who will sack it back to the 11-yard line. Tom Hornsey's punt is a good one. Kenneth Acker's return is even better. Makes the catch, runs right to the 40, 45, 50, into open field at the 40, coming left, into the 35, to the 30, to the 20, one man to beat at the 10, and he's going to be dragged out of bounds at the Memphis six-yard line. Mustangs ball, first and goal at the five. Here he's Johnson, motions left, now back right, handoff, Zach Lyon going off the left edge, to the five, touchdown SMU! Zach Lyon, touchdown number six on the season, and the Mustangs make it 9 nothing. Zach Lyon from five yards out. On the next series, SMU's true freshman defensive back Shaquille Randolph comes up big. Second down and eight, he's going to keep it himself, running up right edge, fumbles the football, it's picked up by SMU. Here comes Shaquille Randolph left to the 25, and he's tripped up at the 18-yard line. The leading team in the nation at takeaways has another one, the SMU Mustangs, in great field position at the 18. Make sure we're straight down there. Jonathan, you listen to every correction. Where's Long going? See you around? Make sure we know what's going on up there. Chase Hover turns the takeaway into points. Mustangs 13, Tigers nothing. Okay, so what we want to do now, remember now, if that guy doesn't, if that guy doesn't come over here, we got to get somebody popping out, right? Right, that's what I'm saying. He didn't just drop automatically, so that's why. But if he's okay. flat footed, just don't even. Go. We can pop a guy, right? Yes. And it should, and okay, it should be the backside guard, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. But Memphis refuses to fold. Big hold up the middle, Hayes to the 20, to the 10 before he's even touched. Dives for the goal line. Touchdown Memphis on a 36-yard run for Brandon Hayes. Running back Brandon Hayes puts the Tigers on the scoreboard. The teams trade field goals, and at the half, it's SMU 16, Memphis 10. The Mustangs have played well, but the Tigers are still hanging around, and that can be dangerous. One of the adjustments I want to make all right, they come up, and especially if I get them off the right half, they want to sprint that ball. Now, they'll sprint it out of that with that set, right? Now, what I want to do on this is I want to take the Sam, and I want to attack through that top half. All right, Mike, you're going to line up out here, and you're going to attack the top of that back, so we get the high-low here on their sprint. All right, in. That's going to be a short stick in there, all right? The uh, uh, zone play, I don't know what happened on the 34 zone. Did they run a stunt or something? 
but we had some uh, penetration on that. Huh? He mugged up in the back side. Yeah. Him and the A gap and the nose bar. So we fan and just bring it. Bring it front side. You take the nose and he's. Yeah. So it's got to be a cut back, basically. They're kind of just running out of there on that one Nebraska. We ran to the weak side. If you don't have that. Just go short to deep on that backside. You you elected to run on that, which was fine. Once you look, you couldn't find them. Just go. Just get underneath all the pads. So, yeah. Okay, anything else uh, that way? Okay, so I'll run a couple of Nebraskas and a couple of Texas in the short side of the field. Okay. And it, we, we take a shot to the wide side of the field too, but try to get it to the short side. So. All right, guys, we got to go out there and play with a lot of energy now, okay? Take the game away from them. We got to score every time we have the football. Take their will away, okay? Take the ball down, run it down, throw it down, throw it accurately. Stop every drive. If they don't score again, they can't win. But we got to play with a different level of intensity the whole rest of the way. The whole rest of the way. Mustangs on three. One, two, three. Mustangs. When we return, the Mustangs fire on all cylinders on both sides of the ball. Memphis gets the ball to start the second half, and the 13-play, 53-yard drive leads to a field goal that pulls the Tigers to within three. But SMU responds immediately. Gilbert looking, steps up, and he had a little contact, but he still completes the ball to Johnson, going right side, 40, coming left, Darius to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and he's going to be taken out of bounds at the Memphis seven-yard line. Darius Johnson's made a lot of plays over the years, and he's never showed just sheer foot speed like he did on that play, running away from four or five defenders. Luckily for, for Memphis, they had a, a backside safety, Valentine. Three plays later, Garrett Gilbert scores from the two. Third and goal on the two, under center, option left, touchdown! Garrett Gilbert leans the ball across the goal line, and he takes it in from two yards out. Yeah! On SMU's next possession, Gilbert leads the Mustangs on a 14-play, 84-yard drive that takes 8.32 off the clock. Blitz look coming from Memphis, and they'll bring five. And it's washed up, and here goes Garrett Gilbert up the middle to the five! Second touchdown today for the QB! Garrett Gilbert had not scored a rushing touchdown yet this season at SMU. He's taken one in on an option play. He takes this one in on a scramble when nobody's open and he's flushed out. And the Mustangs extend it to 29-13. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We're doing it now because what they're going to do is play soft load the box out there. We just got to double team it when we see it. If not, if it's one on one, do your job. Okay? And trust me, okay, let's get outside on it. Right? The Mustangs defense forces a quick three and out. And SMU takes over, first and 10 from the Memphis 37. Gilbert looks left, nothing there. Flushed out to his right. He's going to bring it down. Now he's going to fire it deep. He's got Darius Johnson. Touchdown, SMU. Derek Thompson on the catch. Sorry, seven, not three. Don't you love our numbers, John? <laughs> Touchdown to Derek Thompson of 37 yards. Garrett Gilbert. Immediately could have pulled it down and just scrambled for a gain of four or five. Like a lot of good quarterbacks just letting the play develop and let him hit a big play. Our new score, SMU 37 and Memphis 15. Sophomore running back Rashad Wimbley finishes the scoring as he plunges in from the four. Final score, SMU 44, Memphis 13. The Mustangs go to four and four and three and one in Conference USA. All right, guys, great finish, great job, sucking it up, coming back, doing everything right in the second half. You shouldn't let them linger that long, but you did a great job finishing the game. 
Gilbert throws left side to the 30. Great over-the-shoulder catch by Jeremy Johnson. In many ways, this is Garrett Gilbert's best game of the season. He completes 25 of 35 for a season-high 353 yards, a touchdown, and no interceptions. He also runs for a pair of scores. Touchdown, Garrett Gilbert! We just uh, didn't do a real good job of finishing drives in the first half. Uh, well, we scored 28 points in the second half. That was, you know, that's, that's huge. To be able to come out and finish a game like that, and our defense only held him to a field goal on the opening drive, so uh, that, that was big for us. Wide out, Darius Johnson catches nine balls for 143 yards. Zach Lyon going off the left edge to the five. Touchdown, SMU! Running back Zach Lyon carries the ball 23 times for 127 yards, his 20th career 100-yard game. With 3,751 career yards rushing, he moves past Craig James into third place on the school's all-time list. Anytime Zach has all the yards he does and Garrett's able to make some plays like he did, you know, we're, we're pretty happy. Still got things to get better uh, on to improve, but um, it just feels great. Second down and five at the 40-yard line. They're going to run a long toss again, and all over it is Stephon Sanders, and he's going to tackle Sky back to the 35-yard line. SMU's defense also plays well, recovering a pair of fumbles and holding Memphis to just 202 yards of total offense. We got a few things we got to clean up in all phases. But, uh, you know, we came out, we got the W, and we played well. Was that fun? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, real quick. Hey, we, hey, we need one for the raising ring. Right. We had fun, too. Next up for the Mustangs, a road trip to Orlando to play 6-2 and two UCF in a key CUSA matchup. SMU appears to be peaking at the right time, but the Knights will be a very tough opponent. Kickoff is at 7 Eastern, and the game will be nationally televised on the CBS Sports Network.